I'm calling this the bad, bad, very bad day. All right, so it's day three at AOAA area. And um, last night I was busy fixing the Jeep. What I had to do, you guys probably saw it on video, is I lost a U-joint. So I was climbing a hill without a working rear locker. So I had the front locked. And I was climbing a hill and completely blew the U-joint. That one right there, got it fixed. Got it all fixed last night. It took a few hours to do it. Hardest part was trying to find the lug nuts because I have keys for the lug nuts. So like there's a spline on them. And um, sadly, I left the key at my buddy's house. So what I ended up using was Let's see if I can find it real fast. Was these guys to get it off. And it, it worked really well, actually. It didn't scar them up or anything. And then I was able to slide a, a regular socket on them to tighten them up just enough so we can go wheel into that. So it'll be another good day. Um, two of our four guys are heading out for today. So it's just going to be me and Nate. The guy at the YJ. Hey. He's right over there. So he is currently doing an oil change. So, and the tow rig. So he's got to do that before we head out. So it'll be a good day. But the, the guy in the JK, he already left. Gabe, so he's gone. And Ken. The guy in the Cherokee, he is all loaded up and ready to head home this morning whenever they wake up. So it'll be another another good day of off-roading. All right, guys. So here at AOA, we have this big, huge bucket here. But the true question is, is can we fit a 90-inch wide JK in the bucket? Let's find out. Might be tight. Straight up. Room to move. Bad thing is, is Josh played George of the Jungle and decided to smack into the back of it, but you know. Can't tell that he smacked it, but he smacked it. All right, guys, we just got started into the trail and we had to heat run it because it's a little bit cold. Uh, I think it's 35, maybe 40 degrees outside in Eastern Pennsylvania. So we had the heat run it and uh, all of a sudden we just started blowing cold air. So we have no heat inside the Jeep right now. It's just blowing cold air. Uh, and our thermostat gauge was starting to run on the high side. So we, the fan is running to keep it cold, but we have no heat. Uh, so as you could tell, the hood's popped. They're investigating what's going on. But as of right now, We'll wait and see what happens. All right, guys. So we're f trying to figure out where, but we have sprung a leak. Uh, we literally maybe drove like two minutes 
just to find somewhere that wasn't muddy. And uh, we went from middle of the road, crank it up to high. Really, really quick, just from a very short trip. Uh, we're trying to find out where the leak's coming from, what happened with the leak. Uh, we don't know if it's like a water pump. We don't know if it's uh, a line came loose or what. But as we drive, it gushes out. So hopefully it's something that we can fix on the trail. If not, then we are SOL. All right, so we were going down the trail. We started getting pretty hot, and um, we our our blower started blowing out cold air instead of hot air. So we pulled over, check it out, and now we have a leak of coolant in the lower radiator hose. I don't know if anybody can really see it, but it's right up there where my finger is. So. It's going to be a blast getting off of here. Woo! Alright guys, so we called all the local auto part places and no one has a lower radiator hose for us to do a repair. So we used gasket sealant. Yep, we used gasket sealant. To plug RTV. the hole. And then we put a empty plastic bottle around it to kind of give it pressure. We were going to tape it, but unfortunately where it's at, we can't get tape around it. So now what we are doing is we are getting pulled out. That way we do not have to have our engine on. That way we hopefully aren't leaking any more coolant or water or whatever we have in there now at this point. <laughs> um, but as you can see, we are being towed out. Bio, YJ. A bio YJ. Got our little toe strap down there. Yep. Pull it. So he is he is currently pulling a seven thousand pound Jeep <laughs> with a three thousand pound YJ. <laughs> so we're okay right now. Hopefully nothing bad happens to his Jeep and we can get out of here. And we're gonna turn it on every now and then if we start to go up a steep grade just to get up that grade so he doesn't have to pull me all the way up that. So, hopefully we make it back to the trailer. We can winch it onto the trailer. But, other than that, ooh, ooh ow, that hurt. <laughs> so hopefully, we'll see how it goes. Stay tuned. All right, so we've been doing so good pulling out We've decided to, or we were making a turn, and Nate's Jeep kind of went off the trail, so we had to turn our Jeep on and back him up, and now the YJ won't start. So we're trying to figure out why it's not wanting to start. Literally, the coal road is just on the other side there. Sounds like it wants to start, but it's just not starting up for some reason, and we don't know why. We don't know if maybe... Fuel light came off somewhere or something. They're checking it out, but yeah. This is the AOA curse, is what we're calling it, because we've broke twice. Uh, Kedge Jeep got claimed at AOA and fixed. Nate's Jeep broke his locker, his rear locker, here at AOA, and now it's not starting back up so we'll see uh, hopefully something that we could quickly fix get them started back up and get pulled back out if not i'm calling this the bad bad very bad day all right so we can't get the ledge on J started don't know why we can't get it started we tried to pop start it correct we're pulling it backwards that didn't work, so we are switching positions. Um, it's gonna be a very slow pull out because we are still leaking. So, um, once we start to get hot, we're gonna have to stop, wait a while, try and go again. But yeah, so now we gotta pull the YJ. Fun, fun, fun. All right, still on the last day. 
still we're broke i think i already said that once or twice nate was pulling us out now he's broke so we're switched around and now we're pulling nate out but we can only go 100 yards or 200 yards before we really start to overheat so we got to go a little bit stop refill the radiator with water and then just go and i mean go as fast as we kind of can and get to the parking lot we might be a quarter mile out from the parking lot so we're getting getting pretty close hopefully one more push and we can make it Woo! Hooray! <laughs> where's my trailer all right so we finally made it back after our long journey so we broke at well we had the radiator problems around 9 30. it is currently 11 49 and we are back so it took two hours to get off of the trails and right now we have to pop the yj up on the trailer so that's what we got to do now and then we'll take jj out and load him up on our trailer and then we're gonna get to go home so we made it that's all that matters no none of us got hurt maybe our pride a little bit but we did make it out so we're good all right so i've been working on getting the radiator hose out which is the problem we had on the last day we have a hole in it so if you guys can see it right there that's the problem and how this got a hole in it was the psc system the lines when i bent the tie rod because the tie rod's a little bit bent now i don't know if you guys are able to see how bent it really is but i bent the tie rod and what happened was the hard line started rubbing up against this so it started rubbing against the radiator hose from the psc system and completely put a hole in the radiator hose and that's what made our last day a um, little bit more exciting than what it needed to be so i'm gonna go ahead i already got the new hose in well the new hose i have it down there so going to throw this guy in there and fill it up with fluid that should be good to go as always guys thank you for watching our video and don't forget to like subscribe and share